So this is what we have going on. You can see we have this little indicator light right down there telling us something's wrong. If you come to the onboard display, you can say drivetrain malfunction, drive moderately, maximum drivetrain output, not available, consult service center. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and read the codes. Very often this is caused by a faulty ignition coil on these vehicles. So we're gonna be using this Innova scanner. This is just some $20 scan tool. Any auto parts store will have scan tools and they will do a free code check for you. The vehicle does need to be in the run position, but we're just gonna go ahead and come down and it's in this back corner. We'll just go ahead and plug it in. We'll give it a second and, and here is our code. P0301. Now this is a misfire code for cylinder one. Now it's important to note that you may have a different code than P0301. You could have 302, 303, 304, or another code depending on if your engine's a six cylinder. This is a four cylinder. But the important thing is this is a misfire code. And again, this is very often caused by a faulty ignition coil. Now one of the best things about this fix is all you need is a new ignition coil, and as far as tools, there's only two that you're gonna need, a left hand and a right hand. This repair requires absolutely no tools at all. Now to start out, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pop the hood. So you pull it once, that'll do the first release, and then pull it again, and that'll do the second unlock. Now we'll just go ahead and lift the hood. And now we need to go ahead and remove the plastic black dust cover on the engine. It's not secured with any fasteners, there's just a few push pins. So just carefully use your hands and pull up. The we'll start here, then there's one over here. Lift up and then there's one in the back corner. You'll lift that up and then pull it straight out. And set that off to the side. Now we need to remove this little heat shield. This is just some foam. And we'll just go ahead and lift this up. Take note of how it is. Obviously you can reference back the video. And just pull that up and out of the way. And now we have our coils exposed. So you can see there's one here, 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 and here. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do is remove the electrical connector. To do that, you're going to pull up on this latch, just like so, and you'll see, here's the inner part of the connector right there. You'll see it pushes out when you lift that. As you can see, it kind of pushed out. You just pull it off to the side, just like that. And now to remove the ignition coil itself, you'll just pull the connector off to the side and then generally I'll take my index finger, put it through the hole on the ignition coil and just pull up firmly. And you'll see it'll come right out. Now in this case, our misfire is on cylinder one. So it's likely this ignition coil that's the problem. It's highly advised to replace all of the ignition coils at once because these coils are known for failures. So it's just good to then proceed to go down two, three, four, or if you're on a six cylinder, replace both banks. Now you'll see here we have three different ignition coils laid out. These are from different manufacturers. They're all reputable manufacturers. I do want to just stress that the color of the ignition coil is not critical in this instance. You just want to make sure the cataloging is correct and that you're getting the correct ignition coil because the appearance, the color may vary, but rest assured, different colors will work. So reinstallation is one and the same. Make sure you have the connector facing the same way. You're just going to go ahead and put it down into the cylinder and you'll press. Make sure it goes all the way down. And just be firm with it. You should feel it seat all the way down. So I'm going to show you very carefully how to do this connector. If you're having problems after the install, this is the thing you want to check. These coils don't fail out of the box, so it's probably a connector issue. What you want to do is obviously line it up, get the connector. Now you want to push it all the way up. Now if you look down in there, you want to make sure that's all the way pushed up before you take and snap this down. Now before putting everything back together, we'll just come up into the vehicle and we'll start it just to ensure that has resolved our issue. So put on the brake, go ahead and start it. You can already tell it's running much better. Now we had not cleared the code, so we'll clear the code in this instance. So now that we cleared the code, you can see the check engine light has gone away. Aside from it giving us that warning that the hood is open, that's gone away. And then our notice on the dash has gone away. We're going to leave that black coil in there, but as noted, you can get one that looks black, one that looks like this, one that looks gray. They're all going to work fine in your application. So now we'll go ahead and put that foam heat shield on there. So 
just want to get that snugged up. Uh, there are a few pins here in the back that that other cover is going to slide into, so just make sure they're clear. And now we'll go ahead and take our black dust cover. We'll come up. And as mentioned, there are these two pins that are going to slide in the back. So you'll just lift it, slide it on back, and then you got your three tabs. So one right where my right hand is, push that down, one here, and then one in the back. And we'll go ahead and close the hood. And we will start the car. And the vehicle is running much better. Now before we did the install, this vehicle would barely get over 30 miles an hour. Had no acceleration at all and we're just going to see if we're back to the 3 series we remember by uh, putting it to the floor. Yep, and we are over 40 miles an hour in a matter of a second. So sure enough, that ignition coil, that one cheap part, fixed it. Now the crazy thing is if you look down here, you'll see this vehicle only has 46,000 miles on it. This is a very common problem on these BMWs, the four cylinders, the six, and even some of the eights. This happens early.